Hello all of you beautiful beautiful people. Today we are going to be working on some pipe cleaner teddy bears. Little tiny teddy bears like this. How cute is that? So get your pipe cleaners, your fat puffy ones, your little skinny ones, your colorful, your brown, your black, your green, whatever color you like and let's get started. Okay guys, so I've had a couple of people reach out to me and ask me if I would do a video on these little pipe cleaner teddy bears, which I had never heard of. So I started researching and I found some videos and I wondered why people wanted me to do it because there are some videos on YouTube, but two different people asked me if I would do a video. So as I researched and tried to figure out how to make these little cutie patooties, I became addicted. Um, you can make them really tiny. You can make them a little bit bigger. Um, I'm still experimenting with different ways. As you can see, I have several different kinds, but basically I have it down to a system that I use. So you can also make little animals with it. This is my version of a, well, where is it? Little doggy. He's a little pet dog to one of my bears. And this one was made with a really fluffy thick pipe cleaner. It's to me, it's a lot of work when you make them with the thick pipe cleaners, but after you've done all the work, they come out a little chunkier, a little cuter like this one. I really like this one. I think he's my favorite. Well, it's a toss up between him and the blue one, but they're both made with the chunky pipe cleaners. So, let's get started i'm going to show you with a with the thin pipe cleaners and then you can take it from there to use the the thicker chenille stem, stems if you prefer but i think it's easier for you to see what i'm doing with these let me get this out of the way okay i use two pipe cleaners because one doesn't quite do the trick unless you want to make a super super tiny which this one never got completed it was going to be a teddy bear doll for one of my teddy bears but anyway you can make it super tiny with one pipe cleaner it's harder to get the details okay we've twisted the two ends together and we're going to take about i would say a well let's take a three inch piece that will be for the ears. And we'll take a three inch piece for the body. A three inch piece for the legs. And a three inch piece for the arms. And this is our leftover. So for the ears, take any piece. Uh, this one has the connection where I connected them together. So I'm going to clamp that down, try to um, blend it in so you don't feel these little wire ends. Otherwise, you'll feel them on your little bear when you pick him up. Now, I happen to have these from my beadworking, but if you don't, you can just twist it like this. So spin them around together. Whoops. These are your little ears. This is how they're going to start off. 
we're going to take one of these bend it around like this this is what's going to hold the ears to the arms and legs so we give it a couple twists so got your ears right there now we're going to do this for the arms and the legs put it put the ends together and give them a couple twists ah try that again a couple of twists there couple of twists here now we're going er not twisting very good okay now we're going to open this out and flatten it same with here with the legs with my untwisted legs and then flatten those little metal pieces just give it a couple squeezes okay we're going to put one here, push it up tight, and give it a couple of twists. Those are your arms. And don't stress out about it. You know, one side shorter, one ear is bigger. You can always still adjust it. Just pull it through a little more. Use your legs. Couple of twists for your legs. Then bend those ends up into the body. Flatten them out. Bend your little legs down. So now we have a fairly hideous little creature, but we're going to fix him up. So you take your other pipe cleaner, start here laid across the stomach. This will be your stomach. Go in between the, his legs, over the shoulder, and between his legs over the shoulder just trying to thicken him up right now now go around the waist over the shoulder around the neck and we've got to give him a little bit of a face needs a little thickness on his face so we're going to go between the ears Round the neck, between the ears, around the neck, between the ears, around the neck. Just keep going wherever you think it needs a little thickness, be it on the face on the body this one's face still needs some work around the body and then when you've got to the end of your pipe cleaner tuck it somewhere and squeeze to get it tucked in 
so you won't feel it when you're done. Now you're just going to shape him up a little bit. See where he needs work. You can spread your ears open or have them close together. I kind of like them open. Roll them in tight. Mine are a little too big for this tiny bear. Okay, one more thing that you need that I forgot to tell you about a minute ago. If you have some felting needles, that would be good. I've never felted before. That's a project I'm going to try to learn. So I ordered this felting kit on eBay and all it came with was a picture of what it's supposed to make. Some fur and the felting needles. So I'm going to have to learn some other, some other place how to do the felting. Once I learn, I'll show you all that too. Anyway, it did come with felting needles. But before I got these, I was using these. Super pointed tweezers. Which I had bought and put the little finger holder on when I was doing the diamond painting. I got really into the diamond painting and I made several. And it was kind of rough on your finger having it on this all day. Anyway, super pointed tweezers or something similar, felting needles if you have them, will help you to go along. You just do this all over. It's actually kind of therapeutic. And it slowly tucks in these ends. It tucks them where you don't see how you, you see the crisscrossing right here where you can see where I've wrapped around on the front. Look, look on the back, you can really tell it. If you do this, it tucks in those little ends. Let me do a little bit so you can see. See how you're starting to not be able to tell where the lines are? You can't see the crisscrossing so much here on the head. The more you do it, the better it gets. But that's how I did these, these little teddies. So anyway, you're going to do, do all of that until you've got the body really the way you want it. Get all of this disguised. Could make the legs longer by squeezing the body. Squeeze the body up. You just have to play around with it after you get your your basic figure. Start your basic figure and then look if you turn it the other way around and squeeze these together, squeeze the ears together to make legs, you could have a bunny rabbit. Little Easter bunny. But anyhow, so you'll get your little you'll get your little guy uh on ice and and fluffy without the lines showing. Get these all tucked in. It takes a little bit. Then I'm going to show you what I did for the eyes. Now on my very first bear. This little tiny guy. I didn't know how to do the eyes. I took little black um, seed beads. And I turned them sideways so the hole on the eyes are right here let me see where's my camera right 
here are the holes. So I just turned them sideways for the eyes, the nose. And then I put a little bow. You know, you have all these little different kind of bows you can buy online. Or you can make your own. Just take a small ribbon, tie a little knot in the center. So I could have given him, him a bow that was another color to make it stand out. For some reason at the time I wanted to make him all one color. but So that's what I got there. Okay, so I got to the, um, the little dog, cat, whatever. It could be either actually. And I did the same thing. I put a bigger seed bead for the nose and little green seed beads. Turned them on their side. Then I was thinking I wanted to experiment with some other things. So what I did, I had some... Y'all, I always lose my stuff right here in this little, little bitty space and can't keep up with it. Where in the heck are they? There they are. Okay. If you do bead work, you probably have some of these. They're called head pins. Or if you don't, you know what? You really could just use a regular pin. In fact, I've got some of those here. You could just use a regular pin. The difference with the head pins is they don't is they're not pointed on the end. They're just flat. Flat in the back. Like this. So what I did was I took I took some and I let me show you. Took a little piece of foam, stuck them on there. Now I tried several different things. Stuck it on there to hold it still and I took some acrylic paint and put a little dot on top. The problem with that is it's not, uh, it doesn't stay that great. But anyway, that's what happened with this bear. Then I tried the little black diamonds I had left over from a diamond painting kit. But as you can see, it's too small for the head. So the gold is showing around the edges. Well, I haven't done this one on a bear yet, but it might turn out to be okay with the gold. Well, if I could get it in a good spot for an eyeball. See, this guy, he needs his face kind of puffed up. You just squeeze it together. So you can give him a little volume, a little snout. And then you put the eyes on either side of the snout. But anyway. Anyway, I'm not going to keep bothering with that. So what I did on this little guy is he's the one with the, the black acrylic paint on the top. And then I put it through a black seed bead. Well, I kind of like the way this turned out. I hadn't glued it yet because I wasn't sure. If you pull it down tight like I did on, on one side, you only see the black. But if you leave it a little further out, you'll see the gold rim, which I kind of like. I, I think it kind of looks realistic. I don't know. I, tend to li I, I like it with the solid black or with the gold rim. Either way. But once you get it where you like it, I did the same thing for the nose. Then you'll just make a little hole with your tool. Just poke a little hole in there so that, you know, once you find the spot you like, you want to save that spot. Then put a little glue, whatever kind of glue you want to use, on your needle and poke it through. Then you can 
come back here in the back I'm not going to cut mine because I haven't glued it yet come back here in the back and push down and cut it off or you can see about how how thick it needs to be and cut it off then put the glue you know that's not hard to figure out okay on this little guy I put the black acrylic paint and I put a white seed bead you see that the thick white seed bead and I kind of like that too so like I said these little guys are are ridiculous um, addiction it's something just relaxing to sit and do while you're watching TV or whatever so these are the little guys that I've made I made this little tiny one I also saw that you can make all kinds of little things to go with them and since right now it's Christmas look you can take one of these sparkly ones or you could just take a regular plain old green one and make yourself a little Christmas tree for your little bear um, where's that one Oh, I guess I already did something with it. I had one where I slid some beads on it. Like slide you some little uh, red beads. Kind of not, not the tiny seed beads. You need them, you know, a little bit bigger like this. So you can slide a few of these on, spread them around, and that would be your ornaments on your little tree um you can make a little wagon I'm just sit on a wagon this one actually needs a bigger bear because it's kind of my wagon's too big for this little tiny bear but i'm so addicted <laughs> i saw this at the dollar tree and i was like oh the perfect this little cage for my cat dog whatever little food bowl so that's what I have for today and I wanted to say thanks to the two people that emailed me about this and got me started on this latest addiction because I really had fun with it and so I hope that y'all try it too and get just as addicted as I did um, I'm gonna put another my next video I think is gonna be a old-timey hand puppet not not the puppet you put your hand in but the kind that you work with the little you know like a stick you make the legs and arms move I'm about to do some of those so I will see you next Tuesday don't forget to subscribe bye